Hi everybody! Welcome very much to my YouTube channel. Today let's talk about Mars in Cancer for 2024. Before we do so, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Use the links down below to know more about my content and to get personal consultations and natal chart readings with me as well. And let's get started. Mars in Cancer. What is Mars? Mars represents our passions, motivation, anger and frustration, also represents our deep desires and also is connected to our personal insecurities, personal interests and our deep emotions and deep feelings being expressed or motivating us or being re resentful about something. And there is cancer or cardinal water means the ability to create new feelings and emotions, spiritual purposes, meanings and reasonings behind your actions attractions, feelings and emotions in general as well. So with Mars in Cancer, we're going to be more passionate, more motivated, more aggressive and more frustrated towards new places or new emotions and feelings that come from those new places or from old places, right? So new emotions and feelings behind our passions, motivations, anger and frustrations. So. Mars doesn't quote-unquote like to be in Cancer and what do I mean by that? We don't like to do Mars type things in Cancer like environments. So being passionate, expressing your uniqueness and your individuality, being adamant, being a bit reckless, not caring too much about the world, not caring too much about society or your environment, doing you, going for your vibe, going for your vision, being a bit aggressive as well, right? We don't like to do those things in cancer-like environments because cancer is born out of the fourth house and <clears throat> it's ruled by the moon as well. So it has all the vibes of comfort, familiarity, privacy, being cautious about your emotions and feelings, more sensitivity, more nutrition, more like home uh, providing an, a safe environment for things to grow and flourish. So if you're too passionate or aggressive, that environment will not be so nourishing or so protective or it will not feel, right, quote unquote, or a uh, keyword I mean feel, because cardinal water, water are feelings and emotions, for an example. So that passion of Mars can make things that were familiar, comfortable, safe, now feel a bit more uncomfortable and places where you felt safe might not start to feel that they are against you, right? And that's when you gotta discern if it's real, right? Are they against you, quote unquote? Or are you just more sensitive? Are you just feeling more exposed? Are you just feeling things closer to the edge of your skin, things closer to your nerves, right? Because it might not be the environment. It might be just you feeling all those things, right? Also, Mars in Cancer can bring more passion and frustration to grudges or past scenarios or toxic situations that you were already into, right? Also, it's easier for you to jump into places that look comfortable, that look safe, but they can be aggressive to you. Or they can hold down, bring down your creativity, passion and motivations, right? Also, in, in a more negative way, it might also mean that people want to be comfortable around you while you are not in your Mars mode, while you are not expressing in a more passionate and unique way your motivations, frustrations, anger and passions, right? So people now are being rewarded by expressing their Mars in a more comfortable way, in a more private way, in a more cautious way. But is that really the goal? Or the goal is to make all of us more comfortable in just being our goddamn selves and expressing our passions and motivations and expressing and doing our frustrations and aggressions, right? So instead of punishing yourself or punishing others because they're making the environment not safe or not familiar or you two being too individual or they say, or you, you can be the one 
shaming on others because they're too individual, they're too passionate, they're too serious, right? Instead of that, let's create an environment where it is safe and comfortable to be your God himself. You know what I'm saying? Because that alignment is out there, quote unquote, but you can use it and you should use it. Instead of being used by it, which can end a lot of times in the negative note of being judgmental and ex even excluding others from a safe place because they're too passionate or they're too frustrated. Let's go and do the other way around. Create an environment. And it's not easy, right? Because Mars rules Aries and is exalted in Capricorn. So the natural place and the exalted place of Mars squares, Aries squares Cancer and Capricorn opposes Cancer, right? So it's, but if you can do it, if you can find this gem, it's a very valuable gem. Because then you can work as an example and others, you can open the door for others, basically. Others can see, oh, <clears throat> they have a safe environment and they're passionate. They feel familiar, they are chill, but they're a bit extreme sometimes, but that makes me feel comfortable because I know they are unique, I know they are original, I know they really care about something, I know they are on their path, on their mission, right? But it's not an easy journey. That's why Mars doesn't like to be in Cancer, because it's not just about being Mars all the time or being too passionate, right? But that's the most important. It's to keep your passions, keep your personal interests, keep your blood pumping, but find or create places where you can be that without the need to tone it down, right? And of course, if you participate in the world, you have a job, you go to school, you are in these organizations, you are in a team or something, it's gonna be more complicated for you. Like if you, if you work from home or if you are the owner of the business or if you're managing an account or you're working with numbers and it doesn't need to be a lot of social interaction, it's gonna be a bit easier for you to, end, to handle it, right? Because when it comes to the social interaction, it will be more about you also being sensitive, not just others being sensitive as well. Because every time we talk about water signs, they always carry more than the other signs, mutable energy. Air always carries a bit more of mutable energy too, but also more cardinal energy. Earth carries a lot of fixed energy and fire carries a lot of cardinal energy, right? So even it's Mars in Cancer's cardinal water, it still has that water element, so it's easier for you to share emotions and feelings with others. It's easier for you and others to be in the same vibe, right? So you and others might be just a bit more sensitive, looking for that safe place, feeling a bit more insecure and exposed, because also <clears throat> it's cardinal water. So perhaps everybody is still creating that space or still creating that new emotion, that new feeling that will allow them to tap in into their creativity, uniqueness, individuality, passion, motivation, anger, and frustration, right? And it's complex. It's like you can see I'm like a lot of things are popping up from this alignment because it's true, right? It's a bit more complicated. Water goes deep. Mars goes deep. It's all about finding and creating that safe place to be passionate, motivated, aggressive and frustrated about and passionate as well or just experiencing being aware and utilizing new emotions and feelings or taking all the emotions and feelings but giving them a new twist giving them a new speed a new spin so you can now be more and better passionate aggressive frustrated and motivated as well right and let's see how is Mars in Cancer aligning with, with everything else? Because it's Mars in Cancer 2024, right? So the Sun is in Libra, so squaring Mars right away. So we're learning how to act, express, and see in more light, logical, sociable, and sophisticated ways our new emotions and feelings or old transformative emotions and feelings that are creating passions, emotions, anger and frustration. Then Mercury is in Virgo, so a sextile between Mars and Mercury. So we have a opportunity to think in a more mutable, realistic way 
about our new passions and motivations that come from new emotions and feelings or spiritual purposes. Venus is in Scorpio, actually trining Mars in Cancer here. So we have the gift to relate, be more light and be more cute or be more sophisticated in relating our fixed emotions and feelings that deal or come from the new passions and motivations that are being carried by our new emotions and feelings. So a very water heavy alignment here, but it's a gift to basically take the seriousness and the impact of the new emotions and feelings of the new passions and motivations and relate that in a consistent, stubborn or just efficient way to everybody else that you know they care about your passions, they care about your personal interests, right? Or first use Mars in, in Cancer to initiate a search to express, just be more cardinal, be more initiative, and then you see who's relating and who's supporting your new emotions and feelings or your new, new passions and motivations. And then once you are a bit more solidified, once you've seen things for a bit longer of time, once things have accumulated, then you can start to be a bit more open. Then you can start to be a bit more light and relate and accumulate together and contact and compromise and just get more closer with that Venus in Scorpio, right? Because Venus in Scorpio, in order to work out, it needs to be deep, it needs to be serious, it needs to be valuable, it needs to be worth it. Otherwise, it will not really achieve, you will not really achieve nothing if those relationships, if those um, commitments are too light or about things that are too material, you'll always feel a bit, or the other part of the deal will always feel a little bit dry. You know what I'm saying? Then moving on, Jupiter in Gemini, fatal attracting Mars in Cancer. So you can expand on your, on your new passions and motivations by thinking, communicating and analyzing about your wisdom and knowledge in a more light, logical and detached way. Then Saturn in Pisces, trying Mars. So yeah, grand water trine. Oh, damn. Grand water trine, right? So a lot of emotions, a lot of feelings coming in. I'll make a video about it. And it's going to be deep, right? We have the way that you relate, the way that you love, and the way that you enjoy in fixed emotions and feelings. You have your passions and motivations on new emotions and feelings. And we have reality, structure, networking, and association in mutable emotions and feelings, right? So a gift between Mars and and Saturn, a gift to make real your spirituality, dreams and illusions, if you can create new passions and emotions out of those feelings and emotions that you were already using for Saturn, because Saturn is in Pisces for a long period of time already. So this Mars in Cancer will bring that new spark, that renovation, or just cleaning out the waters, or just bringing fresh water, bringing a bit of salt water, a bit of a different density to the pool that you are already swimming in, aka Saturn in Pisces. Because Saturn in Pisces, it's all about building your dream into reality, associating with people that are in the same spiritual vibe and spiritual understanding as you. And then Mars in Cancer is that new passion and motivation, anger and frustration that can allow you to go further or detach from things that are not that. You know what I'm saying? Then Uranus in Taurus, sextiling, Mars in Cancer, an opportunity to renovate, to reutilize or just rediscover or get in touch again with your purpose, feelings, emotions, dreams and illusions around things that you were already working with or you already associated that allow you to have a fixed situation where you are valuable or you value something that is unique and individual. So if you're already doing something new, already doing something unique that can be fixed, consistent, real and profitable, <clears throat> now you have an opportunity to go deeper, to go further or to just bring that new purpose or more feelings and emotions to it. Neptune in Pisces, training Mars in Cancer right now, a gift to initiate and go really deep, go really hard 
into grand dreams and illusions that can be extremely positive if it's like a dream that can work or it can be extremely negative if it's just an illusion or a nightmare. Maybe you are in a toxic relationship and for you it's like you, it's a dream but in reality it's a nightmare and you can be renovating that situation with these new emotions and feelings. And lastly, but not least, Pluto in the cusp of Aquarius and Capricorn. So on one side, opposing Mars in Cancer, right? So feeling too exposed, feeling unfair or feeling not emotionally connected to past experience where you had to change your life and your business in a quick or, tra or traumatic way. And then Pluto in Aquarius in conjuncting misunderstanding Mars in Cancer, right? Misunderstanding the new feelings and emotions that bring passion and motivation with how you need to transform yourself right now because that's the new chapter of Pluto. So you can transform yourself, your business, your image and your routine and pattern by using your own unique way to think, communicate and analyzing about yourself, the world and society, right? So there, is, there can be a movement or an organization, something happening in the world that deals with communication, with science, with big bodies of thinking, right? And you can be feeling a certain way or being too passionate, being too aggressive, being too hateful, being too lover of that thing and you're misunderstanding that you should, you should be more personally involved with that if you're gonna create all those feelings and emotions. It should be something that is more present in your life and that is more about you and not the world, right? On a positive note, through the misunderstandings, you can find a very good spiritual, emotional purpose that then you can use it to broadcast a unique perspective, a unique ability, a unique vision that can help you and others transform in a stable and consistent way through having your own mind and unique way to think, communicate, analyze, right? So, great alignment here in general, Mars in Cancer, it's falling asleep, we don't really like it, so your motivations, passion, frustration and aggressiveness can be a bit toned down, but at the same time, you can go really deep within yourself, you can create these new portals to parts of you, old parts, new parts, you can create new emotions and feelings that will connect to old emotions and feelings, you can create or recreate or reflame the purpose, the dream behind your life, behind your new chapter in life, behind a new relationship, or you renewing the love and the emotion, the attachment to a specific relationship that you already had. So basically new emotions and feelings that bring passion and motivation, right? So thank you very much for watching. Your support is really appreciated. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. Use the links down below to find more of my content and also use the email and the link tree down below to reach my IG and contact me to get personal readings and consultations. Till the next time, I wish you the best and I see you on the next video.